bolognese sauce is hearty and meaty and rich and wonderful, and it's a great thing to make in a slow cooker. However, the whole thing starts in a great big skillet. I just heated it up and added some olive oil, and I'm gonna add a whole bunch of veggies because I'm making a huge batch of bolognese sauce. Okay, I've got onions, carrots, and celery. And stir these around. The next ingredient to add is garlic. I started with six cloves and I'm getting it as fine as I can. I'm putting it in now so it doesn't burn. If I put it in with those onions and carrots and celery, it would have gotten a little bit burned. Okay, I'll stir it in and let the flavors start to go. That smells wonderful. So I'm gonna add a can of tomato paste for that rich, rich tomato flavor. Now it's really hot, so I'm gonna grab the hard stuff, red wine. I'll add a cup. Okay, this looks great. Now I'm just gonna let the wine cook and it'll take about three minutes. The veggies and the tomato paste and the wine is delicious. It is really cooking away. I'm just gonna season it all with some salt and pepper. Give it one final stir. This is cooked as much as I wanna cook it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the slow cooker. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in the pan because now it's all about the beef. I've got four pounds of ground beef and it goes right in. You can do a combination of beef and sausage if you want. You can just do plain ground pork, ground turkey, just whatever kind of meat you want. Bolognese is very forgiving. And I need to season it too. So salt and pepper, very simple. And then I need to stir and cook the meat completely. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. The beef is all brown, so I'm gonna add probably the weirdest ingredient for the bolognese, two cups of whole milk. This is sort of a traditional thing they do in Italy. I think it's a little bit unusual, but I'm gonna trust the process and add it. The idea is just to add that nice fattiness and also to balance the acidity of the tomatoes. So that is it for the skillet. I'm gonna get the meat mixture into the slow cooker now. Well, that was my workout for the day. <laughs> okay, next I'll go in with two big cans of crushed tomatoes. And then I've got some herbs to add. Dried basil flakes, some nutmeg, oregano, and thyme, some crushed red pepper flakes, Okay, and I love to add Parmesan rind. Don't ever throw these away. They're so good to add to sauces. Now I will stir it. There is so much good stuff in here. Okay, that looks great. So now the lid goes on, and then I'll set it on low. It'll cook for six hours, and it'll be all done. When the sauce has cooled, I pack up the rest for the freezer.